what we're going to be talking about today is very exciting to me because I'm really going back to a gift that was given to me, oh gosh, almost 25 years ago. And it was a gift of information and knowledge. And that gift is, I'm re-gifting to you. That gift was Paul J. Myers, what he used to call the millionaire, million dollar success plan, it's now called the personal success plan. Now this may be simple, it's five simple steps. I'm gonna share them with you because what's important about these five simple steps is they literally can be the roadmap to your success. In fact, I ran into a gentleman when I was selling Paul's programs uh, back at the very beginning, and he said, you know what, uh, the, I hadn't told him what I was doing yet, and um, he said, you know, I have had tremendous success in my life, and it's primarily due to one piece of paper, and he pulled open his desk, you know, those desks that have that little uh, table-like thing, they pulled it out, an extension on his desk, and there, coffee stains on it, and all tattered, was Paul's million, million dollar success plan. And he really attributed that to his success. So we're gonna go over it real briefly, and then I'll make sure that you can get a copy of it. The first, number one, is to crystallize your thinking. Fuzzy thinking gets you a fuzzy result, and that is not what we're after. We're after a result that is what we really want. And to get what we really want, it's so important that we crystallize our thinking, determine a specific goal that we want to achieve, and dedicate ourselves to the attainment of that goal with an unswerving singleness of purpose. I, I don't know whether that's a real word, but that's what Paul used to say. And he said, with the zeal of a crusader. In other words, we get that goal and you just go for it. Number two is develop a plan to achieve your goal and a deadline for its attainment. For so many people, it's almost like they're sitting around having a cup of coffee or drinking a beer with friends and say, oh, I'd really like this and I'd really like that. I can't tell you how many people have told me they either want to visit Costa Rica or they want to come here and live, and yet they've never taken the first step to putting a plan in place. If you don't have a plan, then you are simply wishful thinking. Uh, so you wanna plan your progress carefully, hour by hour, day by day, month by month. In other words, get it down to the granular and organize the activity and may maintain enthusiasm because that's the wellspring of your power. In other words, as you are writing that plan up, it actually can be very exciting. It's an exciting part of the process. And then knowing that you've got these steps to take, you know, they say eating an elephant is hard, but you can just eat it one spoon at a time and it's easy. Third is to develop a sincere desire for the things you want in life. You know, again, a lot of people think they know what they want and they think they're enthusiastic about it, but when it comes right down to it, um, if you're not willing to put in the work that's needed to achieve that goal, then the chances are you're not going to achieve the goal. So developing a sincere desire, uh, it's, a, it's a motivator to your activity. Having that, that motivation to go out there and do the things you need to do to attain that goal is, is incredibly important. The desire for success implants a success consciousness, which in turn creates a vigorous and ever-increasing habit of success. So what, what Paul's saying there is that by really focusing on creating that habit of success, doing things that successful people do, you will in turn have success. And that, that sincere desire, um, we are going to do some, some uh, I'm going to be doing some courses coming up that will help you. If this doesn't make sense to you and you don't know how to do it, I know I was in that boat when I first saw this, but I knew I had to do these things on, in order to be successful. And I'm going to be doing some courses. So be watching for, for information about those. Number four is develop a supreme confidence in yourself and your own abilities. I would say in the years that I've been involved with sales teams and then looking at myself as well, the number one reason people aren't the success they want to be is because they don't have the confidence in themselves. So enter into every activity without giving mental recognition to the possibility of defeat. Now I'm gonna repeat that because that one really bears repeating. Enter into 
every activity with the without giving mental recognition to the possibility of defeat. Listen to your language. Your language will tell you whether you believe you're going to be successful or not, whether you believe you're going to have it or not, you're going to be able to do it or not. And I'll tell you what, that was a hard one for me. But when you get over that, and when you are able to conquer that self-defeating small talk in the back of your head, tremendous things can happen. Concentrate on your strengths. This is one of the ways to do that. Focus on your strengths. You've got strengths. Everybody does. And whatever that strength is, concentrate on it instead of your weaknesses. Because that's what we do, isn't it? Oh, I can't do this because and they, all the, the things that are, are um, their weaknesses, they're, they're things that are holding them back. Concentrate on your problems, on your power instead of your problems. So concentrate on the things that you're strong at and the powers that you do have and just minimize and put aside the things that you're not good at. And one of the ways you know whether you're doing this is the language that you're speaking. Finally, and this was number five, and he said um, he created the fifth statement of, of this plan when he realized that people weren't believing him. They weren't, they were, they were telling him that he couldn't do things. And uh, his story is a really interesting story because he was not the one that you would have chosen to be the billionaire success that he was. But what he decided was this fifth thing was the most important. This fifth step was the most important in final success. And that was develop a dogged determination to follow through on your plan, regardless of obstacles, criticisms, or circumstances, or what other people say, think, or do. And that last part of that is the most critical. Construct your determination with sustained effort, controlled action, and concentrated energy. Opportunities never have come to those who wait. They are captured by those who dare to attack. And those are the words of my mentor in life, Paul J. Meyer. And if you can live by those words, your success is virtually guaranteed.